Hoboken is a short swim from Manhattan, and even though it may be one of New Jersey's smaller cities, after all, it has been christened the Mile Square City, it has had a major, pun intended, impact on America. What's good, YouTube? I'm Louis Gusto, comedian and travel filmmaker. Today we're in Hoboken to eat, drink, and explore. Although it covers an area of almost two square miles, that's 5.1 square kilometers for our friends across the pond, Hoboken somehow acquired the nickname Mile Square City. This city that was founded in 1849 is located right on the Hudson River. So for most of the 20th century, it was essentially a port city. Companies like Maxwell House, Lipton Tea, Hostess Cupcakes, and Wonder Bread served up food and drink to people all over the New York metro area. Walking down Washington Street in Hoboken, I did not expect to find traditional German baked goods, but that's just what we found at Old German Bakery. We got a nice pastry with raspberry and quarg, which is a German traditional cheese, kind of like a cottage cheese slash Greek yogurt, but I've never had it in my entire life. Beautiful little pastry. It's time for a lesson in Haitian Creole. Bue cafe means drink coffee. On Washington Street, the cafe with the same name has been running things for 10 years, serving up home roasted coffee. So this morning we got a drip coffee, hashtag no cream, no sugar. And since we are entering into that fall season, we figured we would start to get in that spirit with their brand new apple pie latte. This is an apple pie syrup with dark cold brew and oat milk. So yeah, a little bit of milk, a little bit of sugar, but that never hurt anybody, especially when you want to kind of get into that fall spirit. I really love that it's family owned. I really love that it's local. And though they do have a couple of locations around this city now, this is their original location. So we got a little hot, little cold, little bitter, little sweet, little local flavor here in Hoboken, Sac Passe. While today's baseball matches are played in cathedrals like Wrigley Field and Yankee Stadium, back in the 1800s, that trendy New York game could only be played in places like Hoboken. That's because there wasn't exactly a lot of park space in Manhattan to be hit and fly balls, if you know what I mean. Victorian era Shohei Otanis and Aaron Judges would make the trip across the Hudson so they could knock a few dingers and catch some line drives. Here in Hoboken, at this very spot, you can find a plaque that commemorates the first ever game of baseball. Now, while you'll be hard pressed to get official confirmation from the Commissioner's Office in Major League Baseball, what is true beyond the shadow of a doubt is that the first ever official recorded game of baseball took place here in Hoboken in the legendary Elysian Fields, a once lush green park right on the Hudson River overlooking Manhattan. Before that game, you had no idea what your wins above replacement was. You couldn't brag to Chester and Thomas about your slugging percentage. And forget about calculating your whip. Because of that historic stat track game, we got things like billy ball and exit velocity. So thank you, Hoboken. Over time, New York-based baseball clubs would begin taking their talents over to Brooklyn, where brand new stadiums could charge admission. And so it was that the heyday of the Elysian Fields was over. Sadly, they no longer exist, but if you stand right here at the intersection of 11th and Washington and listen very closely where second base used to be, you can still hear the crack of the bat. Whether you're spending five minutes or five years in Hoboken, you absolutely must try the local mozzarella cheese, AKA Mutz. Stop number one, yes, I said stop number one, is at Vito's Deli, an Italian specialty store open since the 1980s. When Eddie Murphy and Eddie Van Halen were all the rage in the United States, they were making their fresh homemade mozzarella and they're still doing it today. And as you would imagine, they've got everything from cannolis to Italian pop. We went with a basic hero today. Yes, they have all the fancy sandwiches, including the Sinatra, the Soprano, but we wanted just a salami and mutz on bread with a little olive oil and some vinegar. Let me tell you, the texture on that mutz was absolutely perfect. Not too wet, not too dry, great chew to it, perfectly blended with that crunchy bread. The bread was good enough to let the meat and the cheese shine. But of course, you know, we weren't gonna stop there. We also got a quarter pound of their imported prosciutto. Ah, 
I'll definitely write home about that prosciutto. Over the years, Vito's Deli has been in publication after publication. They've won so many awards, they don't even fit on the wall anymore. But that's why it had that nice star in our itinerary, and it should be in yours as well. He became famous singing about the Windy City and the Big Apple, but old blue eyes Frank Sinatra was born right here in Hoboken to Italian immigrant parents. He must have grown up eating tons of that fresh mutts because he had them golden pipes. Today he has a park, pier, street, and statue dedicated to him. Read all about Mr. Sinatra while you reminisce about those songs, about that toddling town, State Street, that great street where you saw a man kissing his wife. And if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. All right, my boys, we're spending 24 hours in Hoboken, eating, drinking, seeing the local sights. But you know, we still gotta get in that cardio. It's all about them lean gains. Let's hop on the city bike and explore Hoboken. Another locally owned family run coffee house in Hoboken is The Hive. They're famous for their kids play space, their homemade baked goods, but it's all about that coffee. We got the iced cold brew, which has notes of chocolate and caramel. And since they're known for their homemade baked goods, we got the s'mores bar, peanut butter, chocolate chip, cookie dough, marshmallow, so epic. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Something I didn't know I needed in my life. These days, Hoboken is less industrial and more modern and trendy. Brand new condo buildings facing that epic Manhattan skyline and views of the Hudson River. You can go kayaking, you could take a ferry, a cruise ship, or the good old PATH train will bring you from New York City right to Hoboken. <laughs> We have been having a phenomenal day in Hoboken. I knew that we were gonna get some amazing fresh mutts, but I wasn't as prepared for these epic waterfront parks like Pier A, the Hudson River Walkway, and Pier C Park. Everything is beautifully designed. There's lots of greenery, play spaces, bike lanes. We see people walking their dogs, having picnics and birthday parties. Forget about these views, they are incredible. You can get some dope photos and videos from various spots along the Hoboken waterfront. Oh, and I got something in my pocket just for you. It's a reminder to subscribe. Fresh Mutt's round two, M&P Biancamano since 1981 serving up Italian delicacies. In addition to their fresh mozzarella cheese that's made every single morning, they are famous for their heroes. I'm ready, boys, let's go. This is M&P's superhero sandwich. Every Italian meat you can think of, ham, capicola, sopressata, provolone cheese, salami, mortadella, all on a hero roll, olive oil, peppers, and some vinegar. We also got their fresh mutts on the side. They have all sorts of Italian delicacies, but we are here for the sandwich. This is a monster of a sandwich. So many layers of amazing Italian meats with that provolone cheese. We asked what peppers were the best so that we could get them. It's definitely a meal and a half, my friends. Some of their fresh mutts. I've never had mozzarella as a side dish for my sandwich. I'm eating so many Italian foods, I gotta change my name to Luigi Custoccio. Amazing experience, they treated us just like family in there. Thankfully, we got here in time because we got to have the last piece of fresh mozzarella, mutts of the day, plus that superhero sandwich was enormous. I definitely hit my protein goal today. So you say you want to study technology at one of America's oldest technological universities. Well, you'll find the perfect place in Hoboken at the Stevens Institute of Technology. Founded in 1870, it was the very first college in the United States to be dedicated solely to mechanical engineering. The campus is located on Castle Point, which is the highest point in all of Hoboken, overlooking the Hudson River. So the mascot is appropriately the duck. Ain't no way to conceal it. At the northern end of Hoboken, you'll find Pilsner House and Beer Garden, a traditional German experience right here in New Jersey. These legends serve up massive beers, fellas. We got the Hefeweiss beer and the Pilsner House original. Half a liter each. It's time to drink.
All right, fellas, that was a phenomenal 24 hours in Hoboken, New Jersey. Comment below where you want to travel on the next installment of Gusto Nation. Peace!